Hello folks and welcome to the Drifter Network. Today we got some exciting stuff going on. We've had this Jackery solar generator, uh, 518 watts, 24 uh, amp hours. We've had it all summer long. It's a good little unit, it's portable. But uh, as it's coming towards winter here, you can see there's just not as much sunshine here and uh, it's really not doing the trick. So we have invested in a new battery system from Renogy. And yep. uh, you can see it's a 100 amp hour battery and it's already hooked up to my alternator. So we just got to install it and uh, hook it up to the inverter and we'll have some brand new power for the truck camper. Let's check it out. Okay, so under the hood, you can see we got my regular truck starting battery. Uh, we used four AWG cable, nice and thick. I uh, got 25 feet of the red and the black from Amazon. You can see it's wired up to a 40 amp fuse uh, because I'm using a 40 amp DC to DC charger, which I'll show you in a minute. So the way I got it set it up is good because there's really not room under here for another battery. So uh, we'll keep it in the camper. So basically, uh, I've got a 40 amp DC to DC battery charger. Uh, it's a smart charger, so it works for lithium, lead acid, uh, all the different kinds of charging profiles. So I've tucked it underneath my seat. We have a wire that's uh, wired into my ignition. So as soon as I shut the truck off, it won't drain my other battery. And you can see these breakers here. Uh, it's all different depending on what kind of battery you're using. So for the lithium profile, of a 14.4 volt battery. I got two, three, and four are on, and number one and number five are off. From here, it's basically under the carpet and through the box, up under here and into the camper. So uh, let's check it out. All right, folks, so first things first, this is a pretty high-tech lithium-ion battery. So they've given us this little doohickey thing. Uh, basically, it's in storage mode right now, so it doesn't damage the battery which is pretty cool because if you're going away, you're leaving your camper, your sailboat, whatever, then you can put it in storage mode and protect your battery and it'll be uh, good to go when you get back. So basically we're just, uh, let's put it down here so we can see. Uh, when we plug this into the UP up, whatever that means, I'm gonna plug it in so you can see a very dim light. I'm gonna hold it. And now it's very bright. So the battery is activated, it's live. We just gotta hook it up to our DC to DC charger cables and our inverter and we got power. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks. All right. So as you can see here, folks, I'll get out of the way. I built some new shelves, uh, custom to fit, you know, my refrigerator here. We got some new space, which is pretty cool. And over here, we got we got our cables, positive and negative, coming from the DC to DC charger. So I just built these shelves. I haven't secured them. I've done this so we can work on the battery here. And uh, we'll just plunk her right in here. Oh, this is actually hardy going quick, but it's okay. It's okay. okay. Yeah, so we'll uh, place our battery in here and hook everything up. Okay. Okay. We'll see you later. Well, not later. So we're just rigging up this inverter here and basically the smallest screws I have won't fit in the hole. So we're basically just gonna drill them out so we can fasten it. So uh, drill this one right here. Here, try from the top, come from the top down. Yep. Yep, push it in there. It's hard. Okay, folks, quick update. The battery is hooked up. The inverter is hooked up. Uh, we got a little remote thing for this to switch it on and off. Although you can just do it manually on here. So honestly, I think this is probably pointless. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to test it out here. Woo! making noises. Uh, got the fridge plugged in here. Look at that. We got power folks. 
So the only thing is I have no idea what my battery levels are. Uh, there's no way to check right now. I'll have to rig up a gauge or something like that. Yeah, so we got 700 watt inverter, 100 amp hours. This is four times the amount of pa power I had coming from my Jackery unit. Uh, this is huge. This is a game changer. All right, so that wraps that up, folks. Brand new battery system for my truck camper. I'm really stoked on this. Uh, from what I've read online with the truck camper community, uh, a battery charging off your alternator is a must. I mean, you're driving everywhere anyways, so why not have that big V8 engine uh, charging up your power system? The Jackery was a great little investment. I'll continue to use it uh, off and on, I guess. But uh, look, at these things are mostly for mobile applications. Uh, you know, they, they have bigger ones, but they're very, very expensive once you get into the 1,000, 2,000 watt range very expensive so uh really probably pack up the solar panel for the year and uh we're just going to rely on the good old-fashioned uh v8 tundra engine to power up the camper so thanks for tuning in we'll catch you next time peace peace